Hi, welcome to our Pharma Topics channel. Welcome to the 20th uh, series of uh, principles of uh, drug discovery. In this, uh, we are going to see what are protein domains. So, protein domains, it refers to compact and independently folding structural unit within a protein. Domains are the functional, evolutionary and structural binding, uh, building blocks of proteins. And they often possess specific functions that contribute to the overall biological activity of the protein. Domains are autonomous folding units. The role of protein domains, it provides a compact structure. Uh, it, it has stable regions within the protein. They typically consist of 100 to 350 amino acids, although this can vary widely. Independent folding, domains can fold into specific 3D structures independent of the rest of the protein. This means that a domain can often be expressed and function on its own or in other contexts when removed from the full length protein. Uh, protein domains have uh, unique functions. Domains often possess uh, specific functions or carry out uh, particular biochemical activities. For example, an enzymatic domain may catalyze a specific chemical reaction, a DNA binding domain may interact with a DNA and a ligand binding domain may bind small molecules or other proteins. It provides a structural integrity. The domains contribute to the overall structural integrity of the protein. They form stable units that are resistant to denaturation and proteolysis. Evolutionary Conservation Domains can be found in multiple proteins across different species, indicating their evolutionary conservation. The presence of similar domains in different proteins suggests a shared evolutionary origin. Uh, first, uh, there are different kinds of uh, domains. One is uh, armadillo repeat domain. The armadillo repeat domain is also known as heat repeat domain. It has approximately uh, 42 to 43 amino acids is a common and evolutionary conserved conserved protein domain found found in variety of uh, proteins across different organisms it appears uh, like this the domain is named after the structural resemblance to the overlapping bony plates in armor of the armadillo mammals the armadillo repeat domain is an alpha helical repeated motif and uh, is involved in mediating protein-protein interactions and forming complexes. The next is cadherin domain. The cadherin domain has approximately 110 to 130 amino acids, also known as cadherin repeat or cadherin motif. It's a specific protein domain that is char characteristic to cadherins. Uh, cadherins are basically uh, cell addition molecules. It appears uh, like this. Cadherins uh, play a crucial role in cell to cell adhesion, allowing cells to bind together and form tissues in multicellular organisms. Examples of uh, cadherins are E cadherin, which is of uh, epithelial origin, N cadherin, which is of uh, nervous system, that is uh, neural cadherin, and uh, next one is placental origin, that is P cadherin. The next is uh, death effector domain. The death effector domain has approximately 80 to 100 amino acids. It's a protein domain that plays a critical role in mediating protein-protein uh, protein interactions in various cellular processes and particularly in the regulation of cell apoptosis that is uh, programmed cell death. So it appears uh, like this. Dysregulation of the apoptosis is a hallmark of cancer and the targeting apoptotic pathways including those involved in the DED containing proteins is a strategy for developing cancer therapeutics. The next domain is PTA domain. It is involved in cell signaling process. A phosphotyrosine binding domain PTB is a protein domain that specifically recognizes and binds to phosphorylated tyrosine residues in the other proteins. It is involved in the cellular signaling process. 
it appears like this the dysfunction of uh, ptb mediated signaling has been impl implicated in uh, numerous diseases such as cancer diabetes immunological disorders and make them attractive targets for therapeutic interventions the next is uh, ph domain it is called a plextrin homology domain it is a protein domain uh, found in a wide range of proteins involved in uh, signal transduction and cellular membrane interactions so it appears uh, like this the ph uh, domain is named after its initial discovery in a protein called plextrin which is involved in a platelet activation the ph domain is involved in cancer diabetes neurological disorders and numerous other diseases also next is sh2 domain the src homology 2 that is sh2 domain is a conserved protein domain that plays a crucial role in signal transduction pathways that is it uh, conducts the signals from the signal molecule and numerous uh, reactions takes place particularly those involving the receptor tyrosine kinases and other proteins containing phosphorylated tyrosine residues the sh2 domain is named after discovery of src protein a proto oncogene tyrosine kinase dysregulation of the sh2 domain containing proteins can lead to variety of diseases including cancer and immune disorders zinc finger domain the zinc finger domain is a common and versatile protein domain that binds to dna rna or protein targets in a sequence specific manner so it will have uh, the two cysteine residues two histidine residues which we already discussed in the zinc finger proteins zinc finger domains are widely found in variety of uh, proteins involved in various cellular processes including gene regulation transcription translation dna repair and protein protein interactions already a separate video is there for zinc finger proteins kindly go through it also so in summary the protein domains uh, domain is an organization it is critical for functional diversity of proteins by combining different domains proteins can perform multiple tasks and interact with various cellular components additionally domain shuffling and recombination during evolution has played a significant role in generation of new protein functions the study of protein domains is essential for understanding protein structure function relationships protein evolution and design of uh, targeted therapies in drug development domain analysis is often a crucial step in bioinformatics and structural biology research to predict protein function study protein protein interactions and design experiments to explore the protein behavior so it's a very short information of protein domains i hope it will be useful for you thank you for listening happy learning kindly share this to more of your friends if you like this video kindly press the like button kindly subscribe to our pharma topics channel for further updates thank you